again, I just used an eyelid primer to make sure my shadows lasted all night. And then I used a white NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in Milk to just help my eyeshadows pop since I'm using some color in this look. Oh my goodness, what's new? And then with my Naked Basics palette, I used Naked 2 just to start as a starting color in my crease and just a really good blending color and to add a little bit of dimension. And then I use Infallible Eyeshadow by L'Oreal. This is in Glistening Garnet. This color wasn't gonna be the color of my dress, so I wanted to kind of match. Um, my dress didn't work out, so I had to pick a different dress, which you'll see at the end. And then I used my Naked 3 palette and I used Buzz on the inner half of my eyelid and then just blended the two colors together and then dark side I applied into the crease to add some depth and dimension and to just make it a little bit darker or a lot darker because this was a really dark color and then I just blended it out to make sure get rid of all those harsh lines and then foxy I used to blend out more and to just add some color under my brow bones and then I use Black Heart, which is a really dark black color with some purple, um, red and pink sparkles in it. So it went with the look. And I just put that on the outer corner and into the crease just to deepen it a little bit more. And that's basically the finished eyeshadow. And then I'm just blending it out a little bit more because you don't want any harsh edges, especially for homecoming. No, you do not. And then I just applied dust with my finger just to give a little bit more sparkle. And then I went in with Master Precise by Maybelline in my mascara, and that's what my finished eyes looked like. And now onto the face makeup. I used True Match by CoverGirl, and the shade um, is supposed to match my tan because I've used it before and I got a spray tan. So it's supposed to match, but it looks kind of sketch. So sorry, but um, it actually turns out looking pretty okay. Like. It turns out so just wait a second and then I use Maybelline Age Rewind under my eyes just to brighten them up some and yeah make me not look so dead and then with stay matte I just apply that to my face to even out my complexion and to keep my face shine free all night I love this powder it is so nice and inexpensive and it works so well and then I just contoured with Hula bronzer by benefit and I just like I said contoured and just add a little bit more color and dimension to my face so I didn't look like I had such a flat face in pictures And then I used Coralista by Benefit. I didn't show the product, I forgot to, but it's Coralista by Benefit and I just applied that to my cheekbones and it gave a really pretty glow and I really liked it. And then I used NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my Cupid's bow just to add a little bit of a shine since I used a lot of matte products on my face. And I really liked how it turned out. And then typical me, I forgot to do my eyebrows, so... I filled them in with some Naked Basic eyeshadows, and then I just set them with a Clear Brow Gel Mascara, and I love doing eyebrows. Like I think doing eyebrows just makes the look 10 times better, and then I just highlighted with a sparkly eyeshadow to make them pop. And that's almost the finished look. I just have to do my lips now. I use a Revlon Color Balm. Lip stain in elusive, very basic nude color. And that is the finishing look right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had a fun senior homecoming. Please subscribe and leave any questions down below. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!